question 2 simplify the expression now to simplify this i will split the terms in the numerator and the denominator and this is how i'm going to split it for the numerator 3a squared b raised to the power negative 3 let me split that to have 3 times a squared times b raised to the power negative 3 like that then for the denominator the same 2 raised to the power negative 1 times a raised to the power negative 2 times b squared. To work out this, we are going to use a specific law of indices uh, when you are dividing and when you are multiplying. Uh, recall this, recall this law given a raised to the power m divided by a raised to the power n. This is when you are dividing and the bases are the same. You take the base, the base is the same. So what you do, you take the powers and subtract them. So m minus n. So in this particular question, uh, let me deal first with a and b. So look at a, a squared divided by, so we have a squared divided by a raised to power negative 2. The base is the same, so subtract the powers. So 2 subtract negative 2. And this one will give a raised to power 4. The next one is b. So we have b raised to power negative 3 divided by b squared. Again, we subtract the powers. The bases are the same. So this will be negative 3 minus 2. And this will be b raised to power negative 5. Once you're through with that, now I can take 3 and 2 raised to power negative 1. So 3 divided by 2 raised to power negative 1 is the same as read it here 2 raised to the power negative 1 is the same as a half so this is the same as half like that so this one will give 3 times 2 divided by 1 and this one will give 6 now we have for a we have solved you got that for b we solved you got that for uh, for this one that we have the values are for 3 divided by 2 raised to the power negative 1 we have that so now let's go to the solution. So for 3 divided by 2 raised to the power negative 1, we got 6. We multiply. For a squared divided by a raised to the power negative 2, we got a raised to the power 4. And then for b raised to the power negative 3 divided by b squared, we got b raised to the power negative 5. So therefore the solution will be 6a raised to the power 4, b raised to the power negative 5. Or can write it like this 6a raised to the power 4 divided by b raised to the power 5. Since b raised to the power negative 5 is the same as 1 over b raised to the power 5. Not that. So that is how you're supposed to solve that question. So these are the solutions. So this is the solution, or I can also give this.